Now, we are around 36 hours, 34 in fact, into the official campaign period for the May 9th presidential election here in South Korea. The period swung open at the stroke of midnight on Monday and all five of the leading candidates jumped straight into what is surely going to be an exhausting three weeks. Shin Se-min with this report. Five campaign strategies. As the clock struck midnight on the first official day of campaigning, only a few candidates decided to hit the trail, but those who did hit the ground running. People's Party candidate An Cher Su paid a visit to the vessel traffic system at Incheon Port, as one of his core election pledges is to ensure the safety and security of the Korean people. His visit comes just a day after the nation marked the third anniversary of the Sewalho ferry sinking. Investment is a must in order to guarantee the safety and lives of the Korean people. I promise to make this a nation that protects the lives of its people. The conservative Patent Party's Yoo Sung Min also got an early start on Monday with a campaign event at the Seoul Emergency Operations Center, where he offered his encouragement to a group of first responders and promised to ensure a safer country for all. Shim Sang Jung of the Progressive Justice Party, slightly different, putting a great deal of importance on a labor reform platform. Through drastic reforms, I will create a fair labor system, a country where young people can love again, and I will become a president who will change people's lives. Taking a different approach, the Democratic Party of Korea's Moon Jae-in started his first day of campaigning with a video message to appeal to his young supporters. I won't let the people get hurt, nor will I let this country collapse. I will not let my dear country nor its people suffer, and I will give all I have to ensuring that never happens. Hong Junpyo of the Liberty Korea Party started the day at a local traditional market in Seoul, meeting local merchants and promoting his slogan of being a leader for ordinary citizens. Each and every vote counts. With the presidential election now just three weeks away, the hopefuls are not wasting a second. They're determined to meet one more voter to win the heart of one more citizen, especially in a race that's shaping up to become an extremely close one. Since I'm in, Arirang News.